மித்ரோமன் பந்துவோம் வெல்கம் ஸ்வாகத்தம் வணக்கம் திஸ் சீஸ் டாக்டர் ஜே ரெடி ஃப்ரம் சவுத் ஏஷியா மேப்ஸ் யுவர் எஜுகேஷன் சேனல் டுடே வி ஆர் கண்டினியூயிங் அவர் ஃபேசினேட்டிங் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் ஆன் த சவுத் இண்டியன் ப்ராவின்ஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு தமிழ்நாடு சீரீஸ் பார்ட் to 6 the formation of tamil nadu tamil speaking districts amalgamated as a madras state eight stages of formation of tamil nadu you see 1 2 3 4 and 4 8 these two gives a brief introductory information and certain districts for your understanding As usual at South Asia Maths Intellectual Chatriya's Education Channel, your presenter Dr. Jeredi has taken the responsibility of bringing the knowledge from different sources, putting it one place in one presentation, around about 15 minutes, where you come and listen to the presentation, you get a deeper understanding of the issues. and at one place that is also in iconographic form in the form of maps images and pictures and so on that is the objective of this channel so that to bring the vast knowledge of uh, india centric indology also my special interest human ecology that covers diverse topics to the my audience so part Six Tamil Nadu series. Mitram and Bandhuam, if you are new to my presentations and uh, this is our education channel, I have put a lot of effort to so that the bring the knowledge for you, you can take the advantage of it and there are already around about 340 videos. well documented presentations you can go and look at them that is south asia maps jrd and to make the matters even much simpler for you i have dumped these 350 presentations into around about 30 playlists and by looking at the playlist you can get a very good comprehension and see whatever topic you are interested you can go to your particular playlist and look at it that is about our youtube channel this is you are aware our tamil nadu series tamil nadu series here and we already covered in the first three parts the districts of tamil nadu and sub districts taluk so that you will get a comprehensive view and i am purporting to prepare this 18 there is a typo here so i put two Two, two, two times so just there is a minor typo here I have not corrected it and uh, we already correct, uh, covered natural boundaries surface area 130,000 square kilometers this is a part 6 Tamil Nadu 8 stages of Tamil Nadu state formation about this fascinating land of all wars and majestic Chola emperors and Rajas Serfosi Bonsle of Tanjabur Maratha Kingdom and who passed away around about 1834 or so and great poet Subramanya Bharati this is the Tamil Nadu province this is Puducherry and this is Karaikal and we have a similar series on Himachal Pradesh we have taken the same approach and we can also look at them and before we look at the Tamil Nadu state formation I have eight stages here uh, the right side of this so uh, yeah the red or pinkish bar these are the just background information so that things will be very clear I will just zoom and you can sorry you can look at it and So this is how the Tamil Nadu state has formed from 1639 starting from Madras uh, the uh, the 
Madras, the fort and trading center of the British, to 1956 State Reorganization, that is uh, SRA, State Reorganization Act. Here I have covered only Tamil speaking districts to make the matters very easy for you rather than covering the entire Madras presidency, its dissolution, dismemberment. To make these things easy, if you are aware, this is the Mysore, this is the Wadaya's territory, this is the Koyambatur here, this white area, Kovai Kongunadu, and this is the Tirukochi Kingdom or state, that is, that is Kochi princely state, essentially Trishur district, but it's a princely state of Kochi and princely state of Tiruvittamakur wrongly sized as a Travancore. In 1949 it was joined together that is Tiru TC, Kochi, Tiru state, Tiru Kochi state. This is southern part. At that time Kanyakumari district was a part of uh, uh, the Travancore that is Venado kingdom, princely state. This is the entire red is the Carnatic region, the region, the historic region revolving around Tanjavur Delta is called Karnatic that is different from Karnataka province which used to be called Mysore state before so the, the difference is very important of course this is the urban district of Madras surrounding is Chengalpattu and this is the Delta area Tanjavur Chengalpattu Madras Tanjavur Kanyakumari Karnatic this is Pudugai Pudukottai princely state at the time of partition, also called Pudugai, surrounding the Sivaganga and also Tiruchurapalli and Tanjavur areas. And this will give little more understanding of the Madras Presidency districts. This is seeded districts here, the yellow area, the Balari, Karnul, Anantapur, Chittur, and uh, uh, here Chittur is not shown, Kadapa. This is the coastal area. This is Madras Presidency, Nello District, two Arkad districts, North Arkad, South Arkad. This is the green one is Madras surrounding Chengalpattu. And this is the Tanjavur and Tiruchrapal. Here the red one is Pudukote. This is the southern area, Palankar area. This is Madurai District. This is Tirunalveli or Tirunalveli District, Travancore and Kochi. This is the Malabar District here, Malabar District here and Mysore and the Portuguese Imperium, Catholic Imperium, Goa here, the Nizam's territory. So that gives you the broad context that we are going to, that will help you to comprehend and understand the formation in eight stages. And I have jotted down these formations in eight stages. You can stop there and uh, We'll be talking about the same district uh, thing in pictures here. Around about 1639 or so, during the final terminal stages of Vijayanagara mighty empire, empire, the local small area village was purchased, Chennapatnam, Madras, later British built, got the Inam or Jagir from the Maharaja of the Vijayanagara, the Vijayanagara Empire Kingdom at Vellur and uh, built a fort fortified it as a trading center. So Madras Presidency was later formed and that we will not go into detail here only we are talking about Tamil Nadu formation. So eight stages of Tamil Nadu formation. The first stage, so here I have given 1639 Madras, acquisition of Madras by East India Company Bahadur round about 1639. We put what I hear here. At the time it was not there, but this is sometimes stretching the historical things to this side or that side. Next, 1763, Chengalpattu was given as Inam to East India Company Bahadur, especially to Robert Clive. At that time, the the wars, the called Carnatic Wars found and British supported Muhammad Ali Khan Wallaja who won the battle against the French supported Chanda Sahib who lost it. As a gratitude, Muhammad Ali Wallaja gave Chengalpattu region surrounding the Madras because British already has Madras, Chengalpattu to British East India Company, 1763. Next, uh, 
the warrior kingdom was usurped by the the jilors the islamic jilors so either ali later his son tipu sultan they got unnecessarily involved in the neighboring wars the wars are called anglo mysore wars four wars are fought first two wars were neutral and the third war that was ended in 1792 tipu sultan the gazi the last the war and as indemnity he gave this is the bara mahal district the 1792 called treaty of sri rangapatnam that was the capital of the uh, tipu sultan the actual ruler and maharaja wadayar was the real de facto or de jure ruler so tipu gave him bara mahal that is essentially dharmapuri and krishnagiri and uh, selam namakkal region north of kaveri or east of kaveri and also dindigal region overlooking the palani varshanad area so that is the third stage and again the tipu got into war again with the british within uh, like 6 7 years 1792 his kingdom was attacked and he even died fighting and uh, the maharaja was restored to throne that is a immedi krishna raja mumidi krishna raja wadaya that is the third one mumidi and he gave he signed a treaty treaty of mysore he gave the coimbatore region and here i have not showing the kanara regions here when he got the baramali he got the malabar also i have omitted so that to make the matters easier for you so coimbatore so the fourth stage next uh, that is almost within few month uh, tanjavur was ruled by the marathas it was a collateral branch raja shaji had a two sons shivaji who ruled from raigad and became the chatrapati other son ekkozi from different consort or wife he acquired from the nayaks telugu nayaks of tanjavur and he usurped this and he declared himself raja and his descendants ruled and at that time the descendant was called rajesh serfozi bonsle and he was forced to sign the treaty surrendered the entire kingdom and became a pensioner that is the fourth fifth stage and what happened in remember this is the carnatic region right starting from here almost until the guntur sarkar south of krishna river and the nellur region guntur and all those region telugu speaking areas and this carnatic nawab and uh, muhammad ali wallaja khan died in i think 1795 his son umdatul umara ruled for 5 years in past and uh, british uh, governor local governor asked the potential successor to surrender the kingdom he didn't surrender it and uh, the collateral uh, uh, the descendant azimuddaula surrendered the treat surrendered it he was declared the nawab immediately he is surrender he signed the document called carnatic treaty 1801 he essentially gave all the land became the pensioner titular ruler the ruler in the title only that's all so he they got acquired entire karnataka that is the nellore district here and two arka districts here and tiruchirappalli area and southern vaigai that is madurai and tirunelveli palayankar area and at that time pudukkotte uh, was the princely state it was retained as a princely state except a subordinate alliance and 7, 1948 after independent partition pudukkotte was merged with this the tamil nadu madras presidency in 56 1956 state reorganization time and uh, kanyakumari four tamil speaking dist- taluks vilavan kod kalkulam agasteshwaram tovala detached from the trivandrum tiruvananthapuram district southern four taluks added to tamil nadu so acquisition of kanyakumari at that time tenko shenkotta area was part of tiruvankur tiruvittamakur it was retained in tamil nadu because it is a tamil speaking area it was just like a exclave of travancore princely state 
and here I will not be getting into much detail like uh, the Iduki district has a lot of Tamil speaking population even more than 50 and like especially northern Devikulam Taluk and southern uh, Pirmet Taluk uh, there was a dispute but state reorganization committee and act retained it in Kerala uh, due to economic all these regions the water resources and uh, the basement areas rather than the linguistic region so I just put it for your information remember Coimbatore district also has a northern part called Kollegal Taluk that is in Biligiri Rangan mountain areas Boda Malai, North Urugu Malai, north of it and because it was predominantly Canary speaking area, that taluk was detached from Coimbatore, given back to Mysore at that time, which later became Karnataka state, which I omitted for clarity. So, essentially, those are the things here I jotted Chengalpattu acquisition, Baramahal, that is Greater Salem District region acquisition, Dindigal acquisition, Coimbatore acquisition, Tanjur acquisition. Karnatic acquisition, Pudukkota acquisition after partition independence, Kanyakumari acquisition, Kollegal relinquishment. And if you are more uh, want to deeply understand this, there is a separate or almost 20, 30 so presentations I made you can look in the playlist called Madras Presidency how all these things were uh, like Madras Presidency growth and dismemberment and I have made it and I will not be that is still a very big lot of presentations and you can go and look at them if you want to seriously dig at the uh, how this entire thing uh, uh, like Tamil Nadu genesis and dissolution of Tamil Nadu okay and uh, this is before I will before going that we will always look at the our fascinating the maps you see here and uh, how this Tamil Nadu in eight stages was acquisitioned and first uh, the Chennai the British the port city and uh, they made a fort a trading center later Chengalpat was uh, acquisitioned and uh, from uh, this is the Salem, Baramahal area was acquisitioned later from war from Tipu Sultan and Mysore and also Dindigal region same time and further war, next war that is the uh, Sri Rangapattanam uh, Mysore Treaty, Treaty of Mysore, Coimbatore was acquisitioned right and uh, entire that uh, did you, this is Salem, Baramahal region, Coimbatore, Dindigal region. When the uh, the Nawab of Karnatic uh, surrendered the area from Nellur, all this area, entire this Karnatic region was acquisitioned. Before that few months, Tanjavuru was acquisitioned. You can see the Tanjavuru here. This is the Tanjavuru was acquisitioned. But Pudukode was left as a princely state because it was a pro-British. And so you got the entire Thirunal Valley, Madurai and Arkat region. So geographical contiguity, 1947 partition independence and this uh, southern region, Tamil speaking districts, uh, uh, taluks were added to, uh, uh, Kanyakumari area added to Tamil Nadu, Shankota Tenkasi here, they was retained because it was an exclave uh, of the, this is the Shankota region here, Tenkasi and Shankota. Whereas the, here the you can see the I have put the Devi Kulam Pyramid here Yuduki district in the Periyar Plateau you may not see it clear but uh, I have highlighted uh, here so this Devi Kulam area will be here Pyramid will be here it was retained even though it has a Tamil majority but uh, Senkota Tenkasi were given to Tamil Nadu and Kanyakumari was given to Tamil Nadu and Koyambatturu district has shed. Kollegal Taluk, Kollegal Taluk to uh, the Mysore state, the Kollegal Taluk, Coimbatore, the Biligiri Rangan Hills and uh, you can see this the Nilgiris and uh, Kollegal will be somewhere here, Tirumalakuda, Kollegal, you can see the Kollegal here, it was given to Mysore, later we become a Karnataka. So, 
Before that, you should have a brief idea of uh, the Madras Presidency here and that will give you a broader idea. Madras Presidency here, the vast area with many linguistic areas. We are mostly concerned with the two Arka district, Chengalpattu, Pulikat Lake here and Baramahal, Salem area, southern area of Madurai, Tirunelveli, Coimbatore, Malabar district, Travancore state and Kochi princely state and so on. So that is about the formation, eight stages of formation of fascinating province of Tamil Nadu. We finished today. Mitram and Bandhuam, if you like these presentations and I really appreciate if you take a few seconds, subscribe our channel and also bring the knowledge to uh, the similar audience, your friends and so on. See you later in other presentations. This is your presenter, Dr. J. Reddy, South Asia Maps.